It's 5.45 p.m., which means it's time for BCTV's nightly news roundup. Wait, right there. Don't go anywhere. Ooh, that's better. Time for BCTV's nightly news roundup. Uh, it's a Friday, and uh, we're gonna call this a uh, weekend roundup. I'm joined by my co-host, Joe Bushy, but not at the desk. Joe, uh, tell me, how goes it? How's uh, life over at the marina? Let's see if we can get him up on the screen. Hopefully, internet connection willing is, is always the, uh, the drama here. Joseph, how's life? Here we go. So, uh, Joe, we, we got quite a show coming up here uh, that uh, I'm particularly excited for. Uh, it'll include you at the marina. We're going to uh, touch base there for a moment. But first, I just want to tell people what's coming up on deck here uh, for a second so that we can uh, get them cued in to today's show. Let's take a look here. Uh, moose versus car. The police have got a warning out there for motorists on the road. Suicide prevention. We've got a brand new show here from the Battleboro Retreat on BCTV and it's Gallery Walk. We'll talk about that. And did I mention that Joe Bushy is live there at the marina as he pans around? We're going to go right back to Joe in just a second. Uh, but first, we do it in 15 minutes or we try ever so hard. So stick with us here on 545 Live. Now, Rescue Inc. can't say enough about, now talk about a great float. As you folks will see here, the Rescue Inc. float showing actual rescue operations in progress. But you can't say enough about what these people do. Welcome back to this July 6th, 2012 edition of 545 Live. It's our weekend report. So if you're catching us on Friday, uh, we've all got the weekend to look forward to, and you're watching us live, which is always uh, a little scary for everybody involved. If you're catching us Saturday, Sunday, or Monday, still get all the pertinent weekend information. All right, uh, that's footage that we were watching uh, from the Brattleboro Goes Forth Parade, BCTV's five-camera shoot hosted by uh, Jim Maxwell of... Uh, WVEW and of course WTSA's Tim Johnson who's been hosting it for years. It's on video on demand as we speak at brattlebrotv.org. Check it out. It was quite a parade. All right. Uh, speaking of things that are quite something, I've got Joe Bushy here at the marina. Joe, uh, I want to segue over to you who, you with your cohort uh, Daryl Pillsbury. So hopefully we can uh, uh, get uh, a few shots here. For you. Can you hear us? We indeed can hear yeah, you. The question you is, can uh, we hear you? You're live on BCTV. How are things over at the marina? Take it hey, away, boys. It's going great. Now, it's, I... uh, it's great here. I got Tuesday. Vince, come here for a second. Hey, as you know, Rowan, we got uh, Senator Luzzi's in town again. We're running for uh, auditor, state auditor. And uh, here we are at the Marinaville having a blast. Hey, Vince, um, how's Brattleboro been so far on your campaign trail? Exciting. <laughs> and how do you like the gallery walk? It's lively. It's exciting. Every time I come down here, it's a lot of fun and excitement. There's a lot of people smiling, They're walking around. I think it's great. Hey, now look at, look at Joe's thing here. Are we on the air? Yeah. Oh. We're live. Hi. Uh, I'm from the Northeast Kingdom, and uh, these two characters are really interesting, <laughs> who have been very nice, and uh, I love being down here. My brother has been here since 1979 as a dentist, always told me how great Brattleboro was, yep. and now I see it for myself, so I need your vote, but I love being here regardless. And he's running for state auditor. So, hey, Roland, it's a beautiful day. Anybody listening, come on down to Marinaville. Uh, we're having some fun, and after that... Head for Gallery Walk, because it is Gallery Walk Friday. Thanks a lot, Ron. We're heading back to you. All right. Thanks, Daryl. And thanks, Joe, for putting this all together. It's nice to have you at the desk. Uh, sit tight. Enjoy Gallery Walk. Hopefully you'll see some of our viewers down there as they go out to enjoy this weekend's bevy of events, be it at the marina. Uh, which congratulations to them a year after a tragic fire. They are back stronger than ever And of course uh, you can go downtown where there's all sorts of other events Tim Johnson. I uh, am so excited to see you. Let's uh, jump back uh, to the marina here Tim, and all you got for us I'm gonna be live on 96.7 shortly. We're doing our summer promotions every Friday night We're here at the marina live from 5 till 7 
Right every, on. every we'll Friday night. All right, thanks, Joe. So again, uh, ninety-six point seven FM WTSA, longtime uh, DJ there, and uh, occasional BCTV helper uh, volunteer Tim Johnson. He does us uh, a number of favors, uh, co-hosting. Uh, around uh, BCTV at our uh, various uh, promotions, including that parade you just saw. He's getting ready to broadcast live as the WTSA does every Friday night. All right, uh, with that, we'll move on in the stories here, and uh, I'm gonna do something that uh, I often enjoy doing now, which is our reformer roundup. There it is, which way do I have to go here? There we go, got the little shimmer over the shoulder here. Now this is where we just quickly break down uh, the basics of uh, the uh, latest Reformer headlines. Uh, of course, for more on these one-sentence summaries, if you want the full article, you got to pick up a Reformer on a newsstand, uh, or you can get yourself a subscription, and they've got a handy smartphone app and a website, reformer.com. Don't even need the Brattle Row uh, for more information. But here's a look at some of the things that are going on. Vermont State Police are warning drivers to beware of moose while on the state's roadways, especially after dark. This warning comes after a Bonville woman hit and killed a moose while driving on Vermont's Route 30 um, at 11 p.m. late Thursday night. And consumers will be seeing a slight rise in milk prices as struggling New England farmers seek to raise money in order to cover the cost of keeping their family businesses open. And last, I love this little uh, archery picture. This is great. The archery building, uh, which unfortunately is not actually an archery range, but a uh, great image. The archery building at 26 Depot Street will be uh, open for its first public showing since the town of Brattleboro purchased the building in 2006. The historic building, which was built in 1849, will be open to tour uh, Thursday, July 12th at 1 p.m. And uh, I just want to also mention right in that neck of the woods, uh, the new Whetstone Station is now open. Uh, they've been open for less than a week um, but taking over what was once the Riverview Cafe, uh, all signs point to go there. Everybody that's been there has nothing but good things to say. So if you're down in uh, that neck of the woods, check that out. Thanks to Nolan Edgar, our hardworking intern who put together that whole reformer roundup, uh, found the images, did the little graphics, and of course had to take on the difficult task of trying to take uh, an entire article and turn it into one sentence. Again, if you want the full article in all its glory, reformer.com will get you started uh, and uh, hopefully... Uh, I know for them, the, the end goal, pick up uh, some paper, uh, some uh, real pulp there. Uh, wood, wood pulp, not, uh, not pulp pulp. All right, moving on. We've got a few more stories here to wrap up this Ragtag Friday show. For that, I'll need to load back up on my clips. Uh, we'll talk a little bit about uh, brand new stuff coming in on BCTV. This will be a series that will produce at least six shows over the next year. I'm very excited for It's from the Brattleboro Retreat. Um, this program, uh, the, the first program that they've taped in this series, um, is about uh, suicide prevention and adolescence. Uh, it featured Robin Ostrander. She's a senior medical director at the Brattleboro Retreat who had some interesting things to say about uh, adolescents and uh, how they face life's struggles. All the frontal lobes have not really pruned themselves appropriately for me to see the future. I cannot see that this feeling will pass. I can't sort of have some perspective around the fact that this thing in my life is bad, but these other things are still pretty good. That's really tough for teenagers. They just physically, their brains won't take them there. Robin Ostrander, Senior Medical Director at the Brattleboro Retreat. Uh, she's uh, stepped in for a part of the Brattleboro Retreat's new half-hour series. That one actually went 40 minutes. It's really excellent, excellent uh, material on a somber subject. Uh, and that subject often uh, gets cliched, but this piece, I was there directing it, I was very, very impressed with uh, the practicality of it, uh, the message behind it. It'll show all next week on BCTV, uh, so check that out. Uh, you can also watch it in high definition as everything that comes out of this new BCTV studio is all at brattlebrotv.org. All right, uh, moving on, we're going to jump into a brand new feature here, which is going to require some intricate timing on my part, so we'll see how this goes. Um, this is going to be uh, part of our seven-town summary. Here's the deal. BCTV, uh, of course, Brattleboro Community TV. We cover Brattleboro, but there's seven other towns surrounding the community, including Putney, Demerston, Townsend, Newfane, Jamaica, and then south of us, we have uh, Guilford 
and Vernon as well. We've got uh, our fingers out in every town now covering their select board meetings thanks to our new hire, Rich Melanson, who's been uh, hustling from meeting to meeting to get us some footage. Uh, we're trying to snip together just a, a few clips of each of these the week's meetings, and we're dubbing it the Seven Town Summary because why not? Uh, we'll start here in on the script and take a look at some of this footage. In Dummerston, the hot topic was Brattleboro's new multi-million dollar bridge project. I did speak with one of the engineers um, about the east side of the covered bridge, that intersection, and how we felt it was a real safety concern if they're going to be detouring traffic or if Route 30 is going to be close at the bridge um, for any substantial time. All right, and at last night's New Fane meeting, a recent audit uh, of the town turned up some concerns as well. Let's see what they have to uh, say. The recommendation the contained in the audit report this year, particularly in terms of lack of segregation of duties and bank reconciliations not done by a separate individual. This is just, they're repeating what they've said to us before. And at last night's new Fane meeting, uh, nope, uh, we're now on to uh, our last meeting. We've been here for a long time, but we've had Townsend. a few things that have to be clarified about uh, hardware drawings. Hmm. These construction documents for the hardware include everything. They include the, the uh, moldings, they include the paint, they include the, you know, everything. Uh, that's uh, Townsend's latest select board meeting talking about a stalled fire door update, which has recently gotten put back on the table. Of course, just a sample, and, and I can't really do justice to the intricacies of how those discussions unfolded. But uh, you can join the many BCTV viewers uh, voicing their interest and appreciation for the wide variety of select board meetings uh, as we uh, extend out into our other territories. Those can all be found uh, at BrattleboroTV.org, where you can watch them on demand, which is great because you can kind of skim ahead uh, to various uh, agenda items, but if you're a, a trooper, you can sit down in front of BCTV, uh, Channel 10, our cable station, two clicks up the dial and check that out as well. All right, uh, just a few things before we wrap up, including talking about uh, what's going on downtown tonight. Uh, you can head for Gallery Walk, uh, some great tasty food, music, and a lot of art. Uh, along with the uh, fun Brattleboro atmosphere, uh, the uh, Vermont uh, the VPC in downtown has got a uh, a new showing here. This is their recent uh, YouTube edition. As you see them putting their new photo exhibit up, they're just uh, by the parking garage in downtown, and they're unveiling this uh, new exhibit tonight at Gallery Walk. So head on down there, check it out. Some very cool photos as we take a look at them here. That's all I got for a Friday. I'm roasting under these lights in this suit jacket. I'm going to head out and enjoy Gallery Walk myself. Uh, remember, we're going to be rebroadcasting this up until Tuesday as part of our new 545 Live seven-day-a-week scheme. We're back live for a broadcast on Tuesday when we'll break down the weekend's uh, extensive events. Um, we'll get uh, some updates, a uh, look ahead to the Brattle Rose Select Board meeting, and plenty more. All right, uh, thanks to Joe Bushy, Daryl Pillsbury, and Tim Johnson for Skyping in from the marina. Nolan Edgar, who put together our Reformer Report and worked on the script with me today. He's been doing a great job. All our content specialists, Paige Martin, Ian Keel, Maria Dominguez, Catherine Turnus, Nancy Stefanik, and everybody else that makes 545 Live tick the way it does. Thanks to you viewers for checking in with me. I'll see you Tuesday. Night, everybody.